of snakes is under their lips and their mouths are full of bitterness and curses and in their paths nothing but ruin and misery and the fear of god is not before their eyes they have taken the hearts and minds of our leaders they have recruited the rich and the powerful and they have blinded us to the truth It's been Washington's biggest mystery since Watergate. What kind of dog will the Obamas choose? Our resident veterinarian, Dr. We have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. And look, li this is one time. Forget the conspiracy. Listen to our government agencies. These guys are telling the truth. You know, there's no conspiracy here, folks. Just right. get your damn vaccine. All right. All right. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Mercury containing vaccines may help not harm kids, according to two new studies in the journal Pediatrics. There have been widespread concerns that mercury based preservatives and vaccines might impair the neurological development of children. These new studies suggest that the opposite, that the preservatives may actually be associated with improved behavior and mental performance. I think people should be careful what they wish for on China. You know, if China were to revalue its currency, or China is to start making, say, toys that don't have lead in them, or food that isn't poisonous, their costs of production are going to go up. And that means prices at Walmart here in the United States are going to go up, too. So I would say China is our greatest friend right now. They're keeping prices low, and they're keeping prices... For Today, six corporations control all major media in the United States including the principal television networks. These six corporate entities, in turn, control the information being broadcast on a daily basis. The average American adult watches more than four hours of television each day. The constant flow of entertainment, news, and information that is consumed by the American public shapes their perception of the reality in which they live. By controlling the dissemination of information, Broadcasters and their corporate heads are able to control the masses. The constant, carefully shaped messages on television guide the public to predetermined conclusions. Therefore, TV has become a weapon of mass persuasion. In order to take back our minds and our lives, we must first unplug the signal. Turn off your televisions. Cancel your cable and satellite subscriptions. Seek alternative news sources. Spend time with your family and connect with your neighbors and local community. Discuss and learn. Allow new information to challenge your thoughts and opinions. When we unplug the signal, we begin to realize that the world matrix that surrounds us is false. Many things we once thought of as true are lies. Never let us forget the truth will not be televised. Toto? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Allá! Viene una tormenta! What did he just say? He said there's a storm coming in. This is something I've never shared. Let me, okay. the, 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 even before this, and only Jerry Jones and, and Tammy would bear witness of this, um, we were talking, we were kind of joking for, for about a year in the car about the seventh cow before it existed. It's only, that only happens at Morningside. I don't know, it happened in, on the way to the airport. Um, so we have emails back and forth about the seventh cow, didn't exist. Then, and I have one, actually have a, an email a few days I sent to you before the first appearance of this, the first cow. So what happened is that, that on, on this day in autumn, suddenly the Associated Press, not Christian, not, not prophecy, they send forth an image to America, and the image is of the cow with the number seven on its head. That's the image that goes through the world. Now, just to set it up for those who don't know, the, the, biblical, the biblical basis of this is this, that when God warned Egypt of the coming of 
Seven years of famine, the changing of seven, seven, again, Shemitah, seven years of abundance to seven years of famine. It's the Pharaoh who has the dream, and the dream is of the seven cows. And those cows, each cow represents a year. The first seven represents years of prosperity. The second seven, the sickly, or in Hebrew, the evil cows, represent the years of famine. So every cow, this is the bi first biblical symbol given in the Bible of the warning of economic Famine, collapse, is that of a cow. Every cow represents a year. And so the key turning point is the cow number seven. That's the last year. Not only the, that would represent the Shemitah, because it's the seventh year it represents, but, it's the, but it also rep represents the turning point of, from a prosperity to famine. Okay, so you've got that all there. And then, so, so what happens? Now the Associated Press sends this image to America of cow number seven, the biblical imagery that God warned Egypt about now coming to America. And what date is it released to America? It's released on September 25th, the opening day of the seventh year, the very opening day of the Shemitah. The wow. symbol, the biblical symbol of the seventh year comes out on the opening day of the seventh year of this cow that they, they put, these, the secular press put it on the airwaves because they said this is so weird to have a cow born with the number seven. It was just born a few days before. By the way, its name was Benjamin. They called it Ben or Benjamin, which is actually linked to Joseph, Benjamin. You know. uh, oh. And so, so this goes out. Now, I shared this last time I was here. So the last time I was here. So, so you've got that. Now, it was announced, though, on the on the first day of September the September 25th is the day the image went out. The, the opening Shemitah. day of the Shemitah, the, which was exactly half a year from this, this, this convergence but of all these things. But it's like the, the trumpet sounds on that day. The, the warning goes out. Do you understand this at all? What's the odds of this, people? Yeah. On the first day of the Shemitah year, the warning goes out of a cow with a seven. And what did the world interpret it as? They just thought, hey, this is a, hey, it's this is a real weird thing, and it's a it's a sign that maybe it's they I don't know, they linked it to the Pittsburgh Steel or something yes, very they crazy, did. something like that. They yeah. thought it was a sign that the, <laughs> they were going to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's how they. So they named the cow after a football player. Right. Yeah. That is a picture of America. Wow. <laughs> we turn it all to pleasure and sports and fun or whatever. First of all, for a cow to have a number seven to begin with, that's something. That, that's beyond. But then to have it on the day that the cow represents the seventh oh. year. So you have, and that's not, it's the Shemitah. So here it goes out on that day. Now I come here, and this is all part of God's, I believe, working. I'm sharing it with you here last time. And then it turns out two farmers from Texas. Yes. Um, Hep and Pam. Is Hep that it? And, Pam, and right. they happened, from what you happen to turn on the Jim Baker show. Within 20 seconds of me sharing this, Happened this is the man. Yeah. But Hap, you walk into your house. You just came home from doing shopping or something. You've been out. You walk in the house, and what do you do? Uh, it's just God's uh, supernatural timing there. It's that whole day, you know, that, I mean, how he put that all together. We were shopping, came home late that night. I said, I'll just turn on the TV, and we turned it to your show, and, and within... Uh, 10 seconds, 15 seconds there, that, that calf was showed, and that, uh, that's when I told Pam. I said, and who was on the screen? Uh, Jonathan Kahn. And then this is Farmer Hap, and so he's, but he turns his TV on. If he would have been a few minutes later, he would have missed it. Right. It was right at the end yeah. of where you were on talking yeah. about it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so he said, yeah. well, we have a cow like that. We have a calf that was just born. And then he looked. Yeah, and then you, what I, what I saw here is that you looked at your records and you actually put the timing of the birth of the cow. And when you looked at the timing of the cow, it was born on September 25th, the same opening day of the Shemitah, the opening of the seventh year, same day. Not only is it enough to have a cow with the number seven, now there are two cows with the number seven and both the same exact day. And it's you have secret. one at, that is almost like the secular world had the first cow and just no one won. Do you know not one? I read all the newspapers, clippings. I read everything about it. And all they thought it was a sign maybe that the 
Pittsburgh Steelers were going to win the Super Bowl. And no one had any spiritual inkling except they said, oh, it's weird. You know, Act 7 is weird, you know. And then God gives... It, even that is the hand of God. Yeah. That it happened to be someone who was watching and yes. part of the ministry, and right. that's where it was shared. That's right. God did it so we wouldn't miss these things. That's what just do like you think, home. Rabbi? Do you, what do you well, think God's saying through it, this? Well, it, well, I wanted is, to ask you. This is yeah. my first chance. <laughs> one is, I mean, one is the Bible speaks in, in the matters of judgment, there have to be two witnesses. Mm. Before the matter of judgment can be passed, there are two witnesses. Here there are two cows with the number seven, confirming the second confirming confirmation two witnesses of this of this phenomenon that's the first thing uh, secondly it's interesting because there are different types of cows i mean when one was male and one is female one is a red heifer i mean on top of everything red heifer <laughs> which is you know that's a spiritual cow right yeah but i mean but, that's that's a biblical but, yeah but notice something in in the it's kind of completes it all because in the in the warning that was given to Egypt through the dream of Pharaoh, it wasn't just seven cows, it was 14 cows. It was two sets of seven. Two sets of two cows who are the seventh cow. Now it's 14. You know what I'm saying? You just, put, just, add, the, just yeah. add what's on the cow yeah. and you have 14. That is the final number of Pharaoh's dream. And split in half by seven and seven. That's Pharaoh's dream. Mm -hmm. That's the same. It's like matching the same imagery. Fourteen, two seventh cows, each cow representing the set. One, and notice something else. The cows of Pharaoh's dream are representing, it's one type of cow, is the, se the seventh cow of one type. And mm -hmm. then there's another, t a different type of cow that yes. is the other seven. Mm -hmm. So there are two seventh cows, each representing the seven. So it's, the exa it's matching it exactly in all the, all the components of that warning to Egypt are now complete with the seven and seven, two cows. And, and now notice something else. You know, if you look at that first cow, you look at that seven, that seven, it looks like a, almost a typewriter seven. It mm -hmm. looks like a, it's got a serif. It looks like a, it's like a mm -hmm. fancy seven. Yeah. Yeah. Time Romans. Now, rem now remember, mm -hmm. with the two cows, there were two different kinds. The first was a, representing abundance. The second represents the famine. So mm -hmm. two different kinds. The second seven of this one doesn't look fancy. It looks almost like a Passover seven. Like you just, you dab this, you dabbed it on the, on, as like Passover. It, it's sparse. You know, you, know, you have, so you, with, with, with Pharaoh, there's no frills on that one. The first one, it looks like this very fancy typewriter here. So you have two types of cows, just as you did with the two types of seven. With Pharaoh, you had one representing prosperity, fanciness, and the other representing judgment. Mm. Oh, oh or the warning of what's coming. Oh. And the seventh cow represents the turning from a, abundance to judgment or Ooh. famine. There's a storm coming, buddy. There's a storm coming.